Welcome to Peak Learners Hub. Subscribe the channel for more informative videos. Hello students. Welcome to the next session of SST. Today I am here with the topic Relief Features of the Continents. So students, what are relief features? The features which are relatable to the landscape of particular area is known as relief features. Right? So, the meaning of relief in geography means the lowest and highest elevation point points in the particular area. High elevation points are like mountains and ridges. Ridges means the slopes of the mountains and the low lying areas like valleys. So, mountains and valleys are the these are the main, are the main relief features which are located on the continents so in this session we are going to discuss about how the formation of these different kinds of relief features has taken place so the students there are different kinds of endogen endogenic and exogenic processes going on continuously and forming different features on the continents the relief features of the continent are the same everywhere, right? This is because the lithosphere is divided into a, se a series of plates that fit together like pieces of jigsaw puzzle. If you have seen any jigsaw puzzle, you can see that there are different puzzles which are interrelated to each other. They are joined together and making a puzzle. Same in this way, in this way, these plates in the lithosphere, these are connected and related to each other. So students, what do you mean by lithosphere? Lithosphere is the upper layer of the earth. In the structure of the earth, you have already studied that the upper layer of the earth is also known as the crust, right? So this uh, lithosphere is made up of different kinds of layers while some other are combination of both okay so these plates are continental some are oceanic and some are the combination of both continental and oceanic layers it is the movement of these plates that is responsible for the present position of the continents oceans and their other relief features now students there are three three major relief features that characterize the continents mountains plateaus and plains we can see these three special kinds of uh, the, these uh, three kinds of relief features on the continents so there are two types of processes that act upon earth earth to form various relief features or landforms so these two processes are endogenic and exogenic so endogenic are also known as the internal processes okay such as plate tectonics earthquakes and volcanic eruption eruptions these all are internal processes which are taking place inside the layers of the uh, inside the deep uh, layers of the a lithosphere this the, these processes are taking place inside the deep layers next is the exogen exogenic and these are also known as external processes external means outer which we can see from the outside okay S such as the action of rivers rain wind and glaciers as you know that there is the process of weathering going on continue, continuously and these are also known as the processes of weathering like the effects of rivers the rivers are flowing so what effects they are making on the layers of the continents and uh, there is the there are uh, raining and uh, uh, the wind blowing and process process of glacier so all these are making some effects some changes these are continuously making so these are the processes which are responsible for the formation of these different kinds of relief features which we can see on the layers of the earth 
सो स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट्स माउंटेन्स माउंटेन आर लैंड फॉर्म्स दैट आर रेज स्टीपली फॉर्मिंग पीक्स अब द सराउंडिंग लैंड you all have seen mountains and if you have seen mountains you can see that these are raised steeply you can see the slopes which are uh, uh, raised from the surrounding area so most mountains are formed as a result of earth movements like folding faulting or volcanic eruptions so these three kinds of mountains we can see around us so students first time going to going to explain you what are fold mountains and how does the formation of fold mountains has taken place right so students fold mountains are formed by the compressive movements of the earth's lithospheric plates as i told you that you that lithosphere is made up of different kinds of plates okay which are arranged together in a specific manner so when there is any kind of compressive movement sudden compressive movements happens so the formation of fold mountains has taken place layers of rocks are pushed to push towards each other and are uplifted by folding to form fold mountains you can understand it with an example right like uh, take a piece of paper and if you fold the paper right if you fold that paper pushed in, inside from both the end, both the ends then open uh, that paper and you can see the now you can see the structure of the paper you will see that the, there are different folds has been created on the paper some are upper uh, the folds and some are lower folds you can see on that paper so so students the same process is going on uh, the while uh, formation of the fold mountains the upward folds okay the upward folds means the folds which are made up uh, uh, which are uh, towards upside these are known as anticlines okay and the folds which are towards the downside these are called synclines okay so mountains which are formed quite recently within the last 40 millions of years tend to be high or rugged and these are known as known as the young fold mountains now fold mountains are divided into two parts they are there are two types of fold mountains young fold mountains and old fold mountains so students young fold mountains are those mountains which are uh, uh, the uh, the mountains which ha have been taken place recently recently means um, uh, uh, not more than 40 millions years ago right 40 millions of years ago these young fold mountains their structure has been taken place so these include the include the alps mountains in europe continent the himalayas in india okay in asia continent the rockies in north america continent the andes in south america continent so these all are the examples of young fold mountains right students friends and i also told you that the upper um uh, the upper folds are known as the anticlines and the lower folds are known as synclines now students old uh, uh, fold mountains uh, the example these old fold mountains which were formed almost almost 200 to 300 millions years ago okay these are known as the old fold mountains so examples of old fold mountains are aravallis in india western and eastern ghats of india right urals mountains in russia and the wales and scotic highlands these these are the some examples of old fold mountains these mountains have been worn down due to erosion by the natural forces of weather as i told you that these uh, natural forces are working continuously okay so because of the of the processes of the on these uh, uh, old fold mountains now the, uh, because of erosion and due to like uh, due to uh, wind rain 
and uh, glaciers all these forces are working on them so these uh, have been running uh, running out they are no longer longer rising and so they are normally lower than the young fold mountains that's why these are known as old fold mountains but the but the process of formation both young uh, fold mountains and old fold, fold mountains it it was the same now students next kinds of mountains which can be seen are block mountains okay so uh, the formation of block mountains taken place due to faulting or fracturing of the earth surface okay so there was a, a, a in the earth's lithospheric plates there was sudden fracture or there was sudden faulting process has been taken place that's why the formation of block mountains took place this leads to their displacement when there was a sudden fracture in the in the litho lithospheric plates this was uh, the, the sudden displacement of the plate and these block mountains have been uh, formation of these block mountains has took place the part of the lithospheric plates that gets uplifted by push or pull movements is is known as the horst okay this is known as the horst similarly a, a rift or valley they, these are the these are between the two faults and these are the sink downs okay these sinks down and the, and these kinds of structures are known as the as the graben or valleys so students the examples of uh, block mountains are the harz mountains of germany and the mountain ranges of nevada and utha in the usa these all are the examples of block mountains now now students next kinds of mountains which can be seen are volcanic mountains okay well volcanic mountains are formed when hot molten magma found deep inside the earth layers it erupts through openings or uh, vents in the crust and piles up on the the surface so this magma is called lava when it breaks through the earth's crust when the ash and lava cools it builds a a cone of rock rock and lava pile up layer by layer often forming a mountain chain some examples of volcanic mountains are mount fujiyama in japan mount mount vesuvius in italy and mount pelly in the caribbean islands these are the examples of volcanic mountains so students the only volcanic uh, active mountain in india is located on the barren island in the andaman and nicobar islands mountains often occur in long chains these are called ranges a group of mountain chains or range is called mountain system Ma mountains are the most thinly populated region of the world but they are immensely useful to human kind the glaciers on the mountains melt to form rivers and these are very uh, mighty rivers which in turn bring fertile alluv alluvial soil to form deltas and plains they also act as physical barriers protecting the land for example himalayan mountains in india and mountains are important for economic activities such as tourism and fruit cultivation cultivation now students a uh, next relief feature which we can see on the continents is plateaus right so what is a plateau a plateau is a flat area of land that is raised much higher than the surrounding area some sometimes plateaus are also called flat topped mountains or table lands so why these are called table lands because they look like tables rising steeply from the surrounding lowlands with almost a flat top right plateaus are plateaus are formed by geological forces such as the te tectonic or volcanic action 
and also due to erosion caused by wind and rain. Some plateaus are, are surrounded by mountains, for example the Tibetan, Tibetan Plateau. Others lie along the side of mountains like a huge step. The, for example, the Colombian Plateau near the Rocky Mountains in, uh, in uh, North America continent. The Tibetan Plateau has been aptly named the roof of the world as it is the, is the highest plateau in the world. Another famous plateau is the Colorado, Pla Colorado Plateau in the USA. Many plateaus such as the Deccan Plateau in India, they are very rich in mineral resources. That's why these are also known as store, storehouse of minerals. Plateaus formed by solidification of lava, these are very rich in black soil which is very good for growing sugar cane and cotton. Uh, so students, next kinds of relief features we can see on the continents in is plains, right? So plains are the flat and low lying areas, not more than 200 meter above the sea level. Most plains are formed when the rivers and their tributaries carry and deposit materials from the mountains and plains and plateaus. The materials that our rivers carry include silt, clay and sand. Together they are called alluvium, which is why such plains are called alluvial plains. The Indo-Gangetic Plain in India, the Northern, Northern Plains in China and the Siberian Plains in Russia are among the largest plains of the world. Plains provide the most fertile agricultural land and the best living conditions. Hence, 